Here at Opus, we were looking for an electronics partner and we chose Renogy because we can go from a complete system. They go from the batteries to the charger and inverters to the DC controllers to the core screens and the switch gear. So what we've got here is what we put into our units. It all starts off with the smart distribution box. That has the inputs of the power at the front, from obviously from the batteries, through to the tank sensors, temperature sensors and other inputs. That then goes out to things such as the core screen that gives you a visual display of the water tank sensors and of all the switch gear and of the power of you've still got in the batteries. This connects with the smart, uh, smart panel that allows you to be able to turn lights on and off and we have things like the global home and the global away allows you to turn everything on and off in one go. It's also split out into 12 volt and 240 volt. So here we have the Renogy DC charger with also MPPT input. So this takes the Anderson plug input from your vehicle and this will come through here and it will charge your batteries if they need charging. It also allows you to bring the power from the solar panels that are either integrated on the roof such as that from our hybrids or as a solar power blanket if we have here comes through the MPPT and charges the batteries. Over on this side we have the integrated charger and inverter. So this will take either two, uh, 240 volt shore power, it will go straight away through and miss the inverter, it will charge your batteries and output 240 volt to our switches and sockets. Or it will take power from the, the 12 volt through the inverter and give us 240 volt at the sockets. And that is all then displayed on the state of charge where you have, you can see it on the core screen. So here we have the Renogy core screen and the smart panel. So what we have on this front screen is the state of charge. So at the moment this unit has 74% battery capacity and that's going to last it 15 days, 21 hours at the current rate of discharge. So if you're using more and more electricity, they'll obviously go down. So it's good to know how long that's going to last you. Also as temperature sensors, and also you have the two fresh water tank sensors. At the moment, there's no water in here, so they're both showing zero, but that would show a difference and that we can see which tank you want to use the most. We also have the home and away button. These turn everything on and it also turns everything off in one go. You can also turn just a single unit on. So in this case, just the main light or just the outside light and you don't have to use the home and away button as well. That's just a quick way to send everything on or off. On the bottom we have the home screen. The second one takes us to the devices. As we showed on the table, we have four items connected in this one. We have the control panel, we have the DC to DC charger, we have the smart distribution box, and also what is called the shunt. That allows the system to be able to know how much power is going in and out of the batteries. If you go into the shunt, it gives you more information on the battery. So again, shows you the top of the left, shows the amount of charge that is in the batteries, plus also the amount that's being charged or discharged. At the moment, it's using five watts of power. So you can also go into historical data and it shows you how much power you've been using to be over the weekend. So if you need to upgrade your batteries, you can. So back here, we also have then settings so you can have things like display, so you can do a sleep mode or backlight adjustment if it was too bright. And you can also go in things like the leveling. So this is something that allows you to be able to easily set up your camper with the stabilizer legs at the front and rear to make it level. This is also then parallel on the smart uh, DC home app from Renogy that that allows you to be able to check the level of your vehicle while you're setting it up from your phone so if you're on the other corner you can't see the screen so you can use your mobile phone to see how good you are. So also in the display you have things like pairing with the app so we can pair the app with it as well as powering off the system when you go through. So when you go back to the home this is where you have and on the butt side there is a button so when you turn this button off you hold it down for five seconds and it allows you to turn everything off. 